In today's video, we're going to compare some of the most popular email marketing platforms. We're going to review Flowdesk and ConvertKit. Whether you're a small business owner, a content creator, or someone looking to enhance your email marketing strategy, this video is going to help you make an informed decision. Starting off with key features. When it comes to selecting the right email marketing platform, understanding the key features and how they align with your business goals is essential. Flowdesk and ConvertKit are both powerful tools, but they cater to very different needs and types of users. User interface face and usability. Starting off with Flowdesk. Flowdesk is known for its clean, minimalistic design and incredible user interface. The platform's drag and drop email builder is intuitive, making it really easy to create stunning emails without any design or coding experience. This simplicity makes Flowdesk especially appealing to creatives, bloggers, and small business owners who want a beautiful, easy to use platform. Moving on to ConvertKit. ConvertKit is also user-friendly, but it does have a different focus. The interface is designed to be functional and straightforward, particularly for content creators like bloggers, podcasters, and YouTubers. ConvertKit's visual automation builder is one of its standout features, allowing you to create complex workflows with ease. While this design isn't as visually appealing as Flowdesk's, it's highly efficient, especially for managing subscribers and setting up advanced automations. Flowdesk definitely wins in terms of visual appeal and ease of use, especially for those who prioritize design. ConvertKit wins in functionality and workflow efficiency, making it ideal for content creators who need more robust features. Next, let's go over design and customizations of each. Starting off with Flowdesk. Flowdesk excels in providing beautifully designed templates that are easy to customize. The platform offers a range of pre-designed templates that you can adjust to match your brand's look and feel. With its drag and drop editor, you can easily change colors, fonts, and images, making it simple to create on brand emails quickly and efficiently. Moving over to ConvertKit. ConvertKit does take a different approach, focusing more on functionality than on design. The email editor is more basic, offering fewer design options and placing a greater emphasis on plain text emails. This can actually be a benefit for content creators who prioritize message delivery and simplicity over visual aesthetics. ConvertKit's customization strength lies in its ability to segment your audience and personalize content based on subscriber behavior. Next, let's compare the functionality between the two. Starting off with Flowdesk. Flowdesk offers basic but effective functionality, particularly in creating and sending emails. It provides essential features like tagging and segmenting subscribers, which are easy to use but some limited compared to ConvertKit. One of Flowdesk's standout features is the ability to automatically schedule emails based on the best time of day for engagement. This can be particularly useful for users who want to optimize open rates without having to analyze past data manually. Moving on to ConvertKit. ConvertKit excels in functionality, particularly for content creators who need more advanced tools to manage their audience. The platform allows for detailed tagging and segmentation, making it really easy to create personalized email experiences. ConvertKit's automation workflows are more advanced than Flowdesk's, allowing users to set up complex sequences that adapt based on subscriber actions. Additionally, ConvertKit offers unique features like link triggers, which allow you to tag subscribers based on their interactions with your emails. Overall, ConvertKit wins in the functionality category due to its advanced automation, tagging, and segmentation capabilities. Next, automation and integration. Starting off with Flowdesk. Flowdesk offers basic automation features ideal for simple workflows like welcome series or basic nurturing campaigns. Paints. The visual workflow builder is easy to use but lacks the depth of more advanced platforms. Flowdesk also integrates with popular tools like Shopify and Instagram, but its integration capabilities are more limited compared to ConvertKit. Moving on to ConvertKit. ConvertKit is known for its powerful automation features, making it a top choice for content creators who want to build deep relationships with their audience. The platform's visual automation builder allows for complex workflows such as tagging subscribers based on their behavior, automatically sending targeted sequences, and and adapting content based on subscriber actions. ConvertKit also boasts extensive integration capabilities, connecting seamlessly with tools like WordPress, Shopify, Teachable, and more. Moving on to reporting. Starting off with Flowdesk. Flowdesk provides essential reporting features, including open rates, click rates, and subscriber growth. The platform's reporting is designed to be user-friendly, presenting data in a clean and accessible format. While it covers the basics well, Flowdesk's reporting capabilities are somewhat limited for users who need deeper insights into their campaign. Campaigns. Moving on to ConvertKit. ConvertKit offers more comprehensive reporting tools, allowing users to not only track open and click rates, but also the overall performance of automation and forms. The platform's reporting features provide a clear picture of how subscribers are interacting with your content, making it a lot easier to refine your strategy. Next, let's chat about email deliverability. Starting off with Flowdesk. Flowdesk generally performs well in terms of deliverability, but it may not be as robust as ConvertKit. While many users report good results, there are some instances where 
where emails may not consistently land in the primary inbox. Moving on to ConvertKit. ConvertKit is known for its strong email deliverability rates, which is crucial for ensuring that your emails reach your subscribers. In a test where emails were sent from both platforms, ConvertKit consistently performed better in terms of both open and click rates, making it a reliable choice for users who prioritize deliverability. Let's talk about pricing. Flowdesk offers a flat pricing model of $38 per month, which includes unlimited emails and subscribers. The simplicity is one of Flowdesk's most attractive features as it eliminates the worry of escalating costs as your list grows. For users who prefer a predictable flat rate fee, Flowdesk's pricing structure is hard to beat. To get a free trial of the paid plans of Flowdesk, make sure you click the link in the description to get started. Once you click that link, you will be prompted to enter your email address and create a password. Flowdesk will also ask for some basic information about your business, such as business name and industry. This information really helps Flowdesk tailor your experience and provide relevant templates and tips. Moving on to ConvertKit. ConvertKit offers a tiered pricing structure, which provides flexibility, but can also be more expensive depending on the features you need and the size of your contact list. Starting off with the free plan. ConvertKit offers a free plan for up to 1,000 subscribers. This plan includes basic email marketing features, such as unlimited landing pages and forms. Next is the creator plan, starting at $29 a month. The creator plan includes advanced email marketing and automation features, such as subscriber tagging and segmentation. The pro plan starts at $59 per month. The pro plan adds even more advanced features, such as Facebook custom audiences, a newsletter referral system, and priority support. This plan is ideal for businesses that need an in-depth analytics and enhanced marketing tools. But if you do want to check them out and try a paid plan for free, you can click the link in the description to get a free 14-day trial. ConvertKit's pricing structure allows businesses to choose a plan that fits their current needs while providing the flexibility to upgrade as they grow. However, it's important to keep in mind that costs can increase significantly as you add more subscribers or require more advanced features. To get started with ConvertKit, make sure you click the link in the description. From here, you can explore different plans or start with the free plan. Click Get Started. You'll be prompted to enter your name, email address, and password. You'll then have to provide some basic information about your business. Once you've filled up the required fields, go ahead and click Get Started. In summary, both Flowdesk and ConvertKit are powerful email marketing platforms, but they do cater to different needs. Flowdesk is ideal for users who prioritize simplicity and design. ConvertKit offers a more comprehensive set of features, making it a better choice for content creators and businesses that need advanced automation, segmentation, and reporting tools. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss another YouTube video. This channel is dedicated to helping startups and small businesses grow with all the tools and insights you need. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.